Hi, this is Shay with Trucks of Sales here today looking at a few Super Tag dump trucks that we have available. Just gonna do a quick walk around, talk about some of the differences uh, between this and a regular Super 10, as well as some of the weight carrying capacities here. We got ourselves a T800, a 386, and 579. If you take a look at these, they're all set up with the rear lift axle. So this is an option that we're offering on conversion trucks that, that's a little shorter than the new trucks that we ordered. So in being a little shorter, there's a little less weight capacity, but better maneuverability and easier to balance the load. So if you see on this one, we got about a two and a half foot gap between the bed and the cab. And this is a 20 foot max lane bed, the same one found on the super tags that we order new. Same 20 foot bed, high lift tailgate, electric tarp on it as well. So the main difference between this truck and the one that hauls 19 tons that we sell new is the length. It's about two foot shorter. And these ones have big block engines. So they have 15 liter engines, which weighs about 1800 pounds more than the nine liter that we order in the new Super Tag dump trucks. So you add those two things together and you're hauling a, just about two less tons on these. So instead of 19 tons, you're right at about 17 tons hauling. Regular Super 10 dump truck, you're at about 16 tons, maybe 16 and a half tons with a lighter weight dump body. So that's kind of the difference with uh, these compared to um, ordering new, but still a good option. One more thing I wanted to add about these trucks is this particular Max Lane dump body, the 20 footer, it was designed for hauling sand and gravel, mainly hot asphalt. And we actually have an 18 foot half round dump body that if you put it on this same length chassis with the rear axle and ordered our weight saving version, it would actually be lighter and you would haul a little more weight than this 20 foot Max Lane dump body with the thicker walls set up for hauling concrete and asphalt. On these we also did the inside hoist. So if you can see the hoist is inside the bed. That's less expensive and you don't need it on the outside to get all the, ma the maximum amount of weight in the front. Because with this smaller gap here between the bed and the cab that we're doing on these, it, it makes it easier to get the weight on the front axle as well as having that big block engine here helps you get the weight up front there. So no lack of getting weight on the front with these, um, whereas those other ones, it's very difficult to get the weight in the front so you can have a more balanced load in the dump body as well. This is Shea with Trucks of Sales. Thanks for viewing. Please visit our website at www.trucks of sales for more information. Thank you.